guys, so welcome to my very first video blog which is going to be about how to tell the difference between a dragonfly and a damselfly. Now the two look kind of similar so it's really easy to get the two confused. So I'm going to give you a few, few pointers and things to look out for next time you're out so that hopefully you can tell the difference between the two as well. So first of all I'm going to tell you a little bit about the classification of damselflies and the dragonflies. They both belong to a class known as Insecta, which is the insects, and within this group they belong to a small order known as Odonata. So this is where the two diverge. The dragonflies belong to a suborder known as Anisoptera, and the damselflies belong to a suborder known as Psygoptera. So this leads on to the first main difference we see between the two. Anisoptera means uneven wings. And this refers to the dragonfly's difference between the forewings and the hindwings. If you look at a picture of a dragonfly, you'll notice that the hindwings are much thicker, particularly close to the body, compared to the forewings. Zygoptera means yoke-winged or pair-winged, and this refers to the damselflies, how all their wings are equal size and shape. But possibly the easiest way to tell the difference between a dragonfly and a damselfly is to look at the position of their wings when they're resting. Dragonflies will either have their wings open horizontally, or they'll have them open and pointing directly towards the ground. If the wings are closed and held above the abdomen, then it's most likely going to be a damselfly. So the eyes are also a very good indicator of which one you're looking at. With dragonflies, the eyes are very large and positioned at the top of the head, and there's usually part of the eye that's touching. With damselflies, the eyes are positioned at the side of the head and they're never touching and usually a lot smaller. So the final thing I usually look at to see if it's a damselfly or a dragonfly is just look at the general shape of the animal. If it's a lot more stocky and bigger, then it's most likely to be a dragonfly, whereas usually damselflies are smaller and a lot slimmer. So there you go. Wings, eyes, body. Those are usually the three things I try to look out for if I'm trying to tell whether it's a damselfly or a dragonfly. Now there are some exceptions to the rule, as unfortunately there always is, such as emerald damselflies when they're at rest, instead of having their wings closed, like most of other damselflies, they tend to hold them slightly open, and sometimes this can get a bit confusing, because you might think, oh, it's open, does this mean it's a dragonfly? But no, it's a damselfly. And there are other ones like that as well to watch out for. So thank you very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed my video, um, I really hope it was useful as well. So I'm hoping to do more videos like this in the future, so please stay tuned for that, and I will hopefully see you very soon. Bye!